Oh. I agree now. Dave Davis with a two-game lead over Strickland. Yeah, now here he goes. Earl is actually... Uh, it's been... I've got to remark the world. Oh, there's an angry exchange now happening between him and Michaela. She ordered him to be quiet while Davis was in play. And Steve uh, has decided to put salt in that wound. He's going to take a break. Who doesn't remember that moment from 2003? Very intense match. I was there in the crowd and I thought it was a genius move by Steve Davis to take a timeout. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. I have six great examples of when to take a timeout. Maybe some you know, some you have overlooked. Let's dive in and check this out. This video is brought to you by Longoni Cues. This first example right out of the gate is one that's much overlooked. It's at the start of a match. Let's say you're playing an early match and you're not a morning person and you made a couple of bad errors. You missed a few balls, you leaked out some safeties and you're really getting tight, tense, you're getting embarrassed. The score might only be 3-1 or 4-2. There's no penalty in taking an early timeout and get out of there. You might have been super tight from the mistakes. You're maybe projecting what other people or the crowd is thinking of your game of all your mistakes get out of there and regroup asap no shaming that go to the restroom talk to a friend ventilate get it out of your system laugh about it if you have to but get to, into a different scenery get out of that chair that prison chair do something different for a couple of minutes, come back in and you could be a new person and change this entire match around. Example number two is maybe when you're playing a long match day, match after match and you're running out of steam. You need something to eat or drink fast. If you neglect this and you keep going in the chair when you feel this weakness coming and when you're losing focus, your energy's getting drained, well, great moment to take a timeout. I always advise my students to bring some food to their tournaments and matches, bring some bananas, some organic crackers, maybe some good sandwiches, not too much sugar where you're gonna go up and down in your energy really all day long try to keep your energy level stable if you want me to help you more with your game go check out my patreon page where i offer reviews there's q a's zoom calls and a lot more i have the link here posted in the top come check that out on number three from the introduction video this could be that your opponent's behaving terrible could be that you're having a lot of bad luck or that your opponent's having a lot of fortune Anyway, you're going on tilt, you need to get out of there, you need to ventilate, you need to regroup, and the timeout is exactly a good moment now. Maybe you need to talk to the tournament director to give your opponent a warning, step in. Anyway, you're going to be distracted, so it's a good move to get out of there, regroup, go back to your breathing, also very important, remember the fast focus fix, I'll put a link here in the top, Breathing is always the best thing to get you back into the now, the here and now, and back into the moment. That's the only thing you have. So a time out there is a great reset opportunity. Get all of that stuff out of the way. Come back from tilt and back into the here and now. If you want to dive a little deeper into the tilt part of your game, the mental side, Remember to head over to the Terminator College and check out the mental courses that I have right there for you. Number four is a really interesting timeout and you see this the most with the professionals. When your opponent is on a streak, he's running a couple of racks, this is what you call a tactical timeout. When it's his time to break, you are allowed to take a timeout and put him in the freezer for five minutes. This can change the momentum of the match completely. First of all, you're getting out of there, maybe getting something to drink, talk to your friend or colleagues about the match, your coach, 
and your opponent sitting in the chair he's not allowed to keep going staying in his momentum he has to wait for you and it could also irritate him in that moment so you're catching two birds with one stone the discussion could be is this unsportsmanlike behavior in my personal opinion i don't think so it's a tactical moment to take your time out you're allowed to have one per match and if you place that in a right moment in the match it could make a big big difference could come back your opponent might break dry and now it's your turn to step in and do some damage so if it's necessary use it when your opponent has to break on a side note if you do this more than once in a match twice or even three times then you're really stepping into the gray area of being unsportsmanlike and that's really up to you i wouldn't really recommend it place the timeout well and smart and take it from there on number five a timeout right before a big crucial moment in the match it could be that you're really really feeling the heat in a race to nine and it's eight eight you're really nervous maybe it's your break you're feeling trembly you need to maybe get out of there for a couple of minutes regroup settle down and come back in and execute to the best of your ability so there's no shame on hill hill if you need it to take that time out refresh regroup and come back and do the damage now in most tournaments we're only allowed to take the time out in between racks so when somebody has to break but it could be that at your level in leagues or smaller weekly tournaments you're still allowed to take a time out in the rack so perhaps you're facing a really tough shot and you're not ready for it again at a crucial moment in the match well if you're allowed and you need it that could be a good opportunity for you in the match to take the time out so also experiment with that and finally on number six the most obvious one probably is that you really need to go to the restroom well if that's the case do it because it's going to distract you and it's going to take focus away because you're thinking about your bladder and that you have to run to the restroom so get it out of the way and focus on the match again now remember because we're only allowed to have one timeout usually per match it makes a lot of sense to get that restroom break out of the way before your match even starts that way you have your timeout bullet left during the match to use it as a tactical move there you go pool fans that should give you some nice extra insight in when you can take a tactical timeout please leave a comment below if you have any funny stories about timeouts that you want to share could be great for the community also please give this video a like share it subscribe to the channel check out the other great content and i will see you in the next video